hi guys welcome back to my channel and today i wanted to talk about a topic of angels and how angels send us messages you know little synchronicities subtle ethereal winks and a little signals here and there and how to catch that and how to identify that and how to um, use that angelic guidance and support that is all around us at all times right so firstly of course it's like the number synchronicities which now it has become very popular and everyone you know gets it it's like oh it's 11 11 wow like you know that's that's a little nudge that's a little wink like you're on the right path or it's seven 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 five 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 and each of these um number synchronicities also have specific meanings also that you can delve into but so firstly let's just put this aside because we all know this already number synchronicities is one way but let's look at some of the other ways also that you know angels um send us messages and signals right so it could be a particular uh something that you see like uh, a particular totem uh, you could call it or a particular symbol that's very meaningful and specific to you through which they communicate so the more uh, general stuff is like you know uh, feathers feathers is also a way they communicate when you see like feathers here and there it's the angel just dropping off a message about how beautiful life is and that the fact that you're tuned into life's beauty um, that's more general or the number synchronicity synchronicity is also more general but something that you specifically see that you specifically feel is uplifting to you like good sign that is also the angels guiding you for me it is the shape it's actually a rune uh, that is shaped like this um I forgot the name of the rune i think it's a reed yeah it's the uh, rune for reeds it's also a rune for fertility um and protection in uh, uh in in norse mythology but yeah for me it's when i see things that are shaped in that way whether it's like a twig usually it's twigs or like um plants that have that shape sometimes and i know okay that's that's a that's a symbol of protection for me that's a symbol that i'm being guided and protected so you would also have something that is very specific to you that helps you with that kind of a guidance okay so that is one so we have the number synchronicities we have the um you know we have feathers we have um, um, a, a specific symbol that you see that is only specific to you but you feel uplifted when you see it and you will know it you will just know it that is the other okay now another thing you know that you are having very good angelic guidance and support you're being encouraged to grow to expand to fly are flying things you know birds butterflies bees um especially birds and butterflies when you see a lot of that around you when birds are coming very close to you it means like the angels are very close to you also or even for for that matter butterflies because uh flying beings symbolize the higher realms um maybe we cannot understand it on this um physical plane that okay they have this other function but in any case they're a symbol of upliftment they're a symbol of transcendence and flight you know moving upwards moving beyond so um angels speak to us also through different different kinds of birds and butterflies this is a very common angelic symbol um angelic communication method i would say and um, you know it's not like let's say like a crow comes and lands very close to you right it's not like it does not have a physical dimension of reality that the crow maybe just wants food or that the crow is you know um yeah it, it like you can always put a logical meaning to it at times but i feel like beyond that logical meaning of why the crow could be there there is something illogical happening simultaneously um and i i don't know if the crow itself knows that it is a messenger or it is a communicator but at some level it is that so it's almost like all these different dimensions are playing out at the same time so if you're looking at it from a physical dimension then no the crow is just being a crow but then if you look at it from a different dimension it is being a messenger it's a spirit messenger so um yeah i believe this is also something you learn over time how to balance the physical and spiritual and how to see both layers how to coexist with both those dimensions instead of picking one dimension or choosing one dimension you know yeah that's a side thing that's a different topic which is also needs to be explored yeah so how else do angels communicate 
okay uh, for me it's clear audience it's certain um, messages uh, sometimes i just get a message like as if it's being told to me so i'm clair audience and um yeah my, i would say more than being like let's say clair a uh, voyant which is like you can see things happening sometimes i do very rarely but i'm more of a clair audience person so angels are also talking to you through songs through videos especially through music you know angels are connected to the music they are connected to symphony you know um when i went to the angel realm there was nothing but music music was all there was music and light light and music are the same actually so maybe yeah yeah different wavelengths but of the same thing so yeah um, angels communicate through music for sure and again you will just get a small hint like a knowing like this song is like an angelic guidance you know or an angelic support um sometimes if if it's on, the song is on shuffle or like you know auto play or something and then a particular song is picked sometimes it's almost like the angel is picking that song for you to listen to next you know and it's not like every song you'll understand it because suddenly you'll notice it suddenly either like the words become very um the words the lyrics in the song become very obvious they like in your face and like oh fuck i'm noticing this or you know or sometimes it's just um yeah it's a knowing uh, sometimes it's more uh, obvious through the uh, like loudness or the clarity of what is being said or the clarity of the music or it could just be like the feeling oh like this is slightly different this is something different then is the angels communicating with you papiyos um so yeah i think there must be there are many other ways that angels communicate um but these are the ones i wanted to talk about for today and i'll see you soon bye